Hello everybody, this is Janice, and today I am here to um, show you what I've been doing with my little turtles from my Stamps of Life set that I got um, from the Stamp of the Month just a few days ago. Um, this, this is called the Turtle to Love set, and um, if you're interested in it, you can go to the stampsoflife.com, and I just warn you, be warned. There is a lot of cuteness on that site, and so just know that I warned you ahead of time. Robin and I were hanging out yesterday. Our boys were playing, and we spent time playing with this set. And she really likes it. <laughs> so anyway, um, here's all the little turtles that I played with. And I just uh, used my Jenny Bolin inks on these. And on this one, I used a mixture of, th this was um, Dusty Concord and Milled Lavender. I just wrote it down. It's my little cheat sheet and my um, Peacock Feathers and Swedes Lemonade. And then this one was Chewing Gum, which is from Jenny Bolin. But then I also used, for the dark pink, it's a Studio G pink. You know, they don't have any names on them. So that'd be nice if they could give them some funky names for us. And then this one I believe was the soap powder. Oh, come back. The soap powder on that one. And I used some of my Sparkle and Sprinkle Snow. I think it's called. What's it called? It's semi-transparent and it is Sparkling Snow. Um, so we're going to work on a little card. Oh, and then I colored his body on these ones. The, the legs and the head were a Bic Market, the key lime color. And then on these, I used my wonderful green Copic from Lisa and Meg Gardner. And this is a Mignonette color. Why? G11 and we love this color Robin and I do so we're trying to find it if you know where you can get I mean do you have to search I don't know hardly anything about Copics except you know I watch people color with them but if you know where I could find this color if you have it and you can just point us in the right direction because Robin would really like to have this color so let me know all right, so here's what we're going to be making. Okay, kind of a very simple card, but so stinking cute. Okay, celebrate. Now today's card, I'm going to say um, see you soon because I have a friend in Georgia that we're going to visit coming up here for the July 4th weekend. We go there. We go to their house every year, and so I'm going to make her and her mom a. One of these cards and so with this one let's see let me show you the other one my original did i show it to you already where is it i had it a second ago yeah call me on my shell phone isn't that cute so with this one i use this block and with this one i use my round block which um one place you can find where i got mine was the rubber cafe rubbercafe.com I believe is what it's called because I got that one there and then this is just close to my heart one and if this one measures three by three and I was inspired to make this card when I found a new youtuber she's new to me Darlene d-a-r-l-e-n-e zero zero three she's great I love her so I'm subscribed to her and um, I watched her do this and I had seen Jennifer McGuire and other Hero Arts people do this many times before, but for some reason when I watched Darlene do it, I was just like, okay, I'm doing that right now. And this is what I came up with, this one. And it's quite messy, but I think it's kind of neat. I like it. And then this one's just a little more crisp. Okay, so I'll show you what I did. Now, I did it on two different kinds of paper. This one is... I believe that's what this is. This one is paper tray ink, white. 
and then this one you can see maybe you can see there's a difference in color this is a watercolor paper and I don't know if I know watercolor paper probably comes in all different grades and qualities or I don't remember where I got mine though I want to say it was either Michaels or Walmart I believe Walmart sells a pack of watercolor paper um, so anyway let's go ahead and I'll make the circle one and I'm going to do it on this paper tray ink paper okay now what you want to do and you could do this with your distress ink markers um, which is what I used at Robin's house Robin has all of the colors oh, so cool that she has them all um, I don't I just have let's see, for blues I just have these two the broken china and the faded jeans but I'm gonna go check today I have to go to the bank and uh, my bank is right near there so I'm gonna go check and see if they've come up come in with a couple more sets of these because someone left me a comment and said that there are other sets out there that there are four sets actually so that's very very exciting and <laughs> thrilling to me but anyway so I have those two colors and then um, I'm gonna use a third color so I got broken china, food jeans and let's do tumbled glass so all you do is you take your color and you apply it to your block and this one you can barely see and I did re-ink this one but it's a light 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 blue cover that and then we're gonna here and while we're here can I ask you all a question of course I can um, do you guys have any of you had any of your markers dry out prematurely I mean if any of our markers are drying out I guess it is prematurely because these are so new um, but has anybody had that happen and what did you do did you call Ranger did you call the company that you bought them from or is this news to any of you um, just wondering let me know if you know anything about that okay mini mister any mister would work I'm just gonna get a, a little towel here and just spray it you want um, just enough that it starts to run and then we're gonna stamp it and you want to kind of center it which is hard to do with this camera in my way but I'm just gonna go for it and I'm just gonna smush it down and if you wanted to rotate it you can I'm just gonna I didn't put enough water, can you see that? But I think that's part of the charm. See that? And what we could do is get the mini mister and just spritz it a little bit more and those colors will start to wick in. Okay. I don't want them to come all the way down. So what you do is you get your and just dry it and I love my glass mat because I can do any of this on my glass mat because it is heat resistant Okay. 
see how cool that is? Now, if you're not happy with your paper being warped, you can take a little iron, one of those craft irons, and just dry it, or just your regular iron would do, and just make it nice and flat. It's still not dry. So, just hitting it again. And I think I'm going to do a part two, because this is already 10 minutes. So I'm um, just going to do one more thing, just to play, and we bring out some of this watercolor paper. And this time, instead of using the markers and the, um, and the ink pad, we're going to use the we're going to use these, our stains, just to see what happens. Okay, now these two colors kind of both on the dark side. What I need is the set with the broken, with the uh, tumbled glass. So I may go ahead and pick that up today. All right, so here we go. Now, Tim Holtz did mention on his video with the distressed stains that these you can contaminate, so not to try to like dab on a, a different color because it will suck into your bottle and then obviously you will have a different color so don't do that okay <laughs> talking to myself okay so we're gonna you know just put little puddles of color here I'm gonna stay as far away from the other color as possible and there's a little bit left over from I should have done that first And these are really, really liquidy, so it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Ah! Actually dripped, so let's do the other side. I'll just do it quickly. Here we go. Kind of lifting up the paper there. And voila. And I can kind of move it around and I love it. Love that look. So you can use it with your stains as well to do the same technique. And I will come back and we'll do the next step of this part. Thanks for watching.